Aloha and welcome to our video on the outer planets and Pluto. In this video, we'll take a look at Jupiter, Saturn, Uranus, Neptune, and Pluto. So let's take a look at Jupiter. Its day is about 10 hours long and its year is 11.6 years. And its year is a lot longer because it has further to go because it's so much further away from the sun than the Earth is. The volume of Jupiter is 1,321 Earths. So it would take that many Earths to have the same volume in space but its mass is only 318 Earths, so its density is going to be a lot less, and that's because it's a thick atmosphere planet. So we call them the gas giants because they have such a thick atmosphere on them. Jupiter has 67 moons, and it does have a ring system, but it's very faint, so it's not as pronounced as, say, Saturn, which we'll see in the next slide. Another interesting thing about Jupiter is the red spot here. It is a large storm system that's bigger than the Earth, and it's been raging for a long period of time. So it's a surface feature that you can actually see through a telescope. So when we talked about Galileo, we talked how he turned his telescope to Jupiter, and he was able to see four moons. And these are the Galilean moons. Now, the Galilean moons can be seen by a good pair of binoculars or by a telescope. There are four of them. They are Io. Europa, Ganymede, and Callisto, and you can see those. Some of the interesting things about them, Io is one of the innermost moons, and it's one of only four volcanically active bodies in the solar system. So we've seen volcanoes on Io. Europa is the smallest. It has an icy surface and is crossed by many linear features, and they think there might be oceans underneath these icy surface of Europa. Ganymede is the largest. It's cratered in smoothed areas. We can see parallel grooves where we think there might have been water at some point in time. And then we have Callisto, which is the outermost, and that one's going to have the most crater impacts, and it looks an awful lot like Earth's moon. So these are the four moons that you can see if you were to turn a telescope or a pair of binoculars to Jupiter. Okay, so let's take a look at Saturn. On Saturn, a day lasts about 10.5 hours, and this is difficult to measure because there's not a lot of surface features in the atmosphere that we can see rotating. Um, its year is 29 and a half years long because it does have a further way to travel, and it's getting bigger. The years will get larger as we travel out into the solar system. The volume is 763 Earths, but its mass is only 95 Earths. So this gives Saturn a density that is low enough that it would actually float in water if you were able to put it in like a dish of water or something. Now, there are 62 recorded moons, but those are ones that have been named. There's a whole bunch of smaller moons that orbit around Saturn as well, and it does has the distinct ring patterns that you can see out here. One of the interesting things is if you have a good telescope and you look, you can actually see part of the rings in the shadow of Saturn. So it looks like they kind of break abruptly there, but they don't, they continue the whole way through. So let's take a look at Uranus. Uranus has a day of 17 hours and a year of 84 years, and there's 27 moons. One of the interesting things is that while most planets are going to rotate in this general direction, we notice that this one goes this way. So it's really kind of an interesting, different phenomenon and it changes its seasons a little bit, in, well, not a little bit, but in a major way. Okay, so let's take a quick look at Neptune. Neptune has a year of 165 Earth years. It stays about 16 hours, and there are 14 moons on Neptune, the largest of which is Triton, and we can see it right here. Triton is interesting because they think that it is a captured Kuiper Belt object, which means it wasn't formed at the same time as Neptune. Neptune kind of captured it in its orbit, and it'll hold on to it as long as it can. So maybe another 3 billion years, and then Triton might break free. Triton does undergo retrograde motion, and we'll talk about that a little bit later on in the term. Atmospherically, Neptune does have a dark spot here, which is a storm system, much like the red spot we saw in Jupiter. Okay, finally, let's take a quick look at Pluto. Pluto has a year length of 248 years. Its day is about 6.4 days, so that's how long it takes to spin on its rotation. It does have several moons, the largest of which is Charon. And Pluto and Charon and their interactions make it kind of interesting in the fact that it pulls Pluto's rotational axis outside of itself. So what that means is as Pluto is rotating, it's kind of rotating in a circle as opposed to rotating on a point like we saw our other planets. So because of this, because it has the moons that are so large and kind of twisting it and yanking it out of orbit, its size is so small, that's why Pluto is considered a dwarf planet. 
and that characteristic came to be known because we started discovering planets in other solar systems so we wanted to define what a planet was and Pluto did not make the cut that's why it's now a dwarf planet okay that's it for our video as always there will be a lot more detail in the lessons um, good luck on your quiz and we will see you in the next video